Hi everyone, this is Kim Paris speaking, and this is my very first voyage, my maiden voyage, making an instructional video. So bear with me. I anticipate phones are going to ring, um, people are going to be knocking at my door, and I'll do my very best to make this um, as clear and without as many interruptions as possible. So today we're going to be learning about how to build a Google site. A Google site is one of the Google apps, and it's a really nice website you can build. And it's really very simple. So what we're going to do is I'm going to provide you with a couple, several short videos so you can watch the video and then you can stop it and try it and then go on to the next video. The first thing we need to do is you need to be into your Google account. If you have a Gmail account, then you just need to sign into your Gmail account and you'll be into your Google account. For those who do not have a Gmail account, your Kane email is built in a Google account, so you have to just sign into your Kane email. So I'm going to go, um, and the other piece that's very important is you need to be working in the Google Chrome browser. You cannot make it with Internet Explorer. You need to make it with the Google Chrome browser. So I'm going to go into my Google Chrome browser. And since I'm already into my Gmail account, my Gmail's up here, I'm going to go to Sites google.com sites.google.com let me try it again sites.google.com there we go it works too good let's try it up here I put it in the wrong place there we go okay and I'm actually in my cane account right now and that's fine so I'm in my cane account and you can see that there are uh, multiple websites listed up here. A couple of them may have been from former students, but most of the sites up here were created by somebody within the Kane community and they've shared it with everybody. But typically as you build websites, you'll find the titles listed here for you to access. All we want to do today is be concerned about the create button. So we're all going to hit create. And when I hit the create button, um, they're going to ask me to name my site. So I'm going to call this my practice site of 2016. The next thing I'm going to have to do is take a look down here and, and actually it's going to tell you what the URL is or the site address is. It's going to be uh, https sites.google.com forward slash a forward slash cane.edu and this is going to be the page on here. Eventually, I'm going to show you how to make the site shorter and easier to type out, but that's going to be your site. Many times when you go to hit uh, create, they're going to come back and tell you that address has already been taken. Um, so what you can do is you can come down here and you can hit, if they do that to you and you put something in there, you could put version 1, you could put uh, 2, you could put A, B, C, D. You could put anything you want in there to get past that obstacle if they tell you that that site has already been taken. There are hundreds and thousands of um, Google sites out there and eventually someone's going to use the same name you use. It won't affect the name of your, your site, but it will just affect the location and we can fix that. So you put that in there. Additionally, when I go to hit the create button in a minute, a lot of you may get something that they're going to ask you to confirm you're not a robot. They're going to ask you to click off a button that says confirm I'm not a robot or they're going to show you a picture with words and letters in there and they're going to ask you to type them to make sure you're not a robot. Everybody's, depending on w whether you're going through your personal Google site or your school site, that may pop up. I want to use our blank template. We're always going to use a blank template and I'm going to hit create. We're waiting a second. It's telling me that it's creating my site. And there we go. So that's the first part of how to create your Google site. You have your address up here, and you have the name of your page here, of your site, and you have your home page. Now, I don't want you to do anything with this. Um, I'd like you to go in and go this far with your site, and then watch the next video.